A lot of you guys have been asking me about Shido's aerial attacks. And there's basically the, the main reason I didn't bring it up in the first video is because I believe that they are inferior. I think they're very situational. But um, I haven't actually tested it, so we're going to go ahead and test them and see if they are actually worth using more often than I actually use them. So let's get on with the action. All right, so for the testing, I think we'll use these guys again. And you might wonder, like, why would I use a guy that resists my attacks to test against? And I simply because I want them to live a bit longer. I don't want to just, like, go around and one-shot stuff and... That, that just, I don't think that's a good way to test stuff, so we'll do, um, we'll say we'll do three rounds of each, each style of attack and go from there and see how long it takes for me to kill. And I'll, I'll be totally honest, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll start out with the aerial attack and, um, yeah, I'm not a professional with the aerial combos. I'm not sure what the most optimal is. If I'm doing this wrong, uh, please feel free to correct me in the comments and if you have a, a video of how to do the, the, the most optimal aerial combo, I would love to see it. Anyway, I'm just going to go in and... Uh... So this is already not looking good. Because I can't kill him in one with one stamina bar. And, um... Like, I already know that I can easily kill these guys in seconds with with our normal with our normal combo like that so I don't know I don't know um, let's let's give this another shot all right so this time I'm gonna try with like a longer aerial combo one two three and then still ran out of stamina hmm like the one uh, one thing I'll say, like uh, like I said at the beginning, I think the aerial combo is situational because it is nice that you can, you know, lift them up in the air and do some air combos by doing that, but or by using that, and yeah, I can see that being very good for certain situations, especially if you have a large group of mobs and you lift them all up. Like yeah, that, that crowd control is very very nice to have, but. I don't know, unless I'm doing something wrong, again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, uh, if I'm doing something wrong, like, uh, it just seems like the the attack attack and then scatter is, is the most damage, like, I don't see, <laughs> I don't see the aerial combo uh, out damaging this unless, I don't know, maybe you, do you have to have, like, a lot more stamina than I have right now? Like, is this something in the late late game that gets better I just I just I don't I really don't see it happening I feel like attack attack scatter is there's, there's nothing that beats it but let's uh let's do a couple more rounds of testing just um just for the heck of it and then I'll go through and uh get all the timings for for all the uh tests that we had and but it's like I can't even I'm not even sure if I can count the area <laughs> like if I can't kill him before I land to the ground I mean that that's that says it all right and both of those times I had to land and uh, finish him off with the, the actual good combo so one like one other thought I have is like is that like that the whole management of the stamina in general just makes it feel so clunky you know like Maybe, maybe it could possibly be better in some situations, but just the fact that you have to manage a stamina and just kind of makes it feel bad in a way. Like, and this is just so simple. You really can't, you really can't mess that up. I mean, you can mess it up. I've messed it up a lot here and there, but, um, yeah, like, I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do a couple more aerial combo. And, uh, see how this goes. I mean, I guess I killed him just before I landed, but... 
There's no way that's faster than, um, there's no way that's faster than the normal combo. So let's uh, do a couple more rounds with the attack, attack, scatter. And we'll get the timings and round up this video. All right, let's do two more rounds of attack, attack, scatter. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, do we have to actually do the timing? I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. But that dude just got wrecked. Like, there's no way the, the aerial combo comes in anywhere near as fast as that was. <laughs> Alright, last guy right here. Let's do it. I must have had some sort of a massive crit on the last... The, the second to last guy, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna go and get into editing editing this video and uh, come back with the numbers and everything. All right, so here we are in the editor. We're gonna get real precise with this. I think we'll start as soon as the first hit lands. Right? Does that make sense? I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. Um, yeah, let's just let's do it that way though. Okay, it's hard to see when the first hit actually lands. We'll start with the f when the first swing goes out, okay? Like the first sound. So like right there, that swing. Um, go back a few frames. Okay, so right before the swing comes out, we're at 15.38. And then you can kind of just skip forward here. Hmm, when did he actually die? So we'll call it, um, we'll call this the death moment right here. Okay, so we can see his health bar. And then he, I think when the health bar goes away, he's dead. So yeah, we'll call that right there. That's death, 2430. Wait, what? 1538 to 2430. That was nine seconds. Oh, okay. That's, guys, that's even slower than the the ground normal attack combo. Anyway, let's let's keep going. All right, again here we'll go with when the first right before this first swing comes out. So that's at thirty nine ten here. And then I guess when the the health bar goes away. Forty-four thirty. All right, so five seconds there, which is slower than our first video. The first video, um, which makes a bit of sense because I do think my gear has fallen behind a bit. Um, I don't. I don't have any purples yet. I need to start far farming purple gear and stuff. So I think uh, my gear is a little bit weak for for my level right now. Um, okay, next fight. We're gonna do another aerial. Okay, oh one thirteen. Okay, um, what for the HP bar? And th this is kind of cheating because I finished him with a with with the scatter. <laughs> but um, a one thirteen to oh nine sixteen. So that that one's another eight seconder that basically was got cheated, a cheat kill. Anyway. All right, so another aerial here, starting at forty-four fifty-eight. Again, speeding this up a bit, and we have death at fifty-one fifty-six. And that's surprisingly only seven seconds. That one's not too bad. All right, <laughs> the the next one I think is the one where we just basically kill so uh, kill the one dude in like three seconds. Uh, let's have a look at that. All right, we have first swing here at twenty o two. Okay, and death at 22.44. So just over two seconds. <laughs> and that's the power of scatter, man. Like, if you get a good crit on, on multiple of those, oh my goodness. All right, next one. 
All right, first swing is going out at 4538 and death at 5059. So another 5 seconder. Okay. Let's get let's tally up all the totals here and I'll get right back with you. All right, the results are in for the aerial attacks results. The first one was 9.52 seconds. Second round was 8.03 and the third round 6.58 seconds. For the ground tap tap scatters, first round was 5.2 seconds, second round 2.42 seconds, and third round 5.21 seconds. So it's kind of interesting that um, the first and the third were basically 0.01 seconds off from each other. So I guess that's the baseline. Anyway, um, yeah, clearly the ground combo is superior. And just some final thoughts on this, like, even if the aerial combo was slightly superior, I'd probably still just continue using the ground combo just because dealing with the aerial stamina is kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Like, um, yeah, I, I, I'd much prefer the ground combo, the ground gameplay for, for Shiro. So, yeah, that's my preference. Even the and it's obviously superior anyway, um, but yeah. Again, leave, in the comments, leave me leave leave me a, a comment if you if you know something I did wrong there, because I I know a lot of you upvoted the comment about the aerial attack being better than what I was showing. Um, so obviously, a lot of you feel that it is better. And uh, sorry about the sirens in the background; they've been going constantly for the last like 10 minutes like I thought they were done but anyway um, yeah so obviously a lot of you think it's better and um, so if, if I did something wrong there please let me know uh, but I don't know just the way I'm playing it does appear that the tap tap scatter is the best way to go anyways thank you for watching uh, thanks for all the comments and likes from on the previous video, it's one of the, I think it's already one of my most successful videos. Uh, I think it's already top ten, maybe even top five at this point. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the videos, and uh, I'll keep making them. Go Team Shiro! We'll see you the next time in the next one. Peace and GGs. I might even be live streaming the game at the time this video goes live. Who knows? Later's.